Hello everybody, so welcome to week three of Christmas Crafts and I've just been wedging my clay to get the bubbles out but also to make it a bit drier before we begin. Now, I'm only using a small bit of clay and I've been doing this for quite a while, throwing it and just getting it so that a lot of the moisture just comes onto my wooden board. Now I'm going to show you two types of Christmas decoration we could do tonight. I'm just breaking my clay in half. And this is baking parchment or baking paper. And I'm using this today because I don't want my um, design to stick to the wood. So I'm just going to start rolling it. And as I said in the instructions, um, you want it quite thin because um, you don't want a heavy um, Christmas tree decoration that sags, pulls down all the branches. So... I think that's about fine, that's how thick mine is. What I've previously done is I've made some templates. I didn't have cutters, so I've made these templates that I drew by myself onto baking parchment. And I'm just gonna put one of these on here. See if my stocking will fit on. Yeah, just about, I think. Maybe a little bit more rolling. Okay. So I'm just going to pl place my stocking on top, that's perfect, and you could use a sharp tool but I've got a pencil and I'm going to carefully mark around where I want him to be, my stocking to be. I'm going to go across there but I'm not going to be cutting this, I don't want it too deep there. I'm going around my edges, it doesn't matter if your paper breaks. And you can see that I'm getting a nice uh, design. Don't be afraid to press hard. So now I can see my design ready for cutting with my sharp tool. Here's my sharp tool. I'm going to carefully just cut down. Cut around. I'm just going to take my time doing this. You can do this with any decoration any design you want it's really simple you can make your own design they are very own drawings it's so personal isn't it so you can see I'm just finishing off my stocking there and this outside piece of clay should lift now I know my edges need to be smoothed down because they're quite rough at the moment so I'm just going to take a little bit of water and just smooth everything down. Now it's looking quite plain, so at this point um, you could add patterns to it using um, a, a tool shape or the bottom of a pencil or you could even, um, I'm going to use this triangle shape just to get some nice sort of patterns. You could just leave it and paint it after. But remember, when you've done all this, uh, you need to make a hole in the top with your straw to hang it. I'm just going to make this line a bit thicker. Now at the moment it doesn't quite look like a stocking, I know, so it needs to be painted to give it the great overall effect. But that's how to do a stocking. And of course, any flat shape you could do just like that. So I'll leave that to dry and paint it later. Now. I'm just going to move this away. Another thing I'd like to show you is um, an actual technique that people use to make teapot spouts or handles. But we're going to use this today to make a, um, I forgot what you call it. A candy cane. A candy cane, that's right. So I'm going to start by just rolling my candy cane. And you remember you roll and twist. If you've done my other course, you'll know about making coils. Rolling and twisting a little bit. Okay, so when you're, you think you've got a good size and it's quite even, your coil, I'm just going to show you how to bend it gently. You're going to get some water on your, fin on your fingertips. I'm just dipping my hands into water, they're wet. And you're just going to gently smooth it over where you think you want it to go and just give it a little pull. This helps the clay not to crack and it holds it in place. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to smooth the, the bottom styles in. So that's, my, that's basically my candy cane. And I think you'll want to paint that rather than um, add any 
any decoration, any patterns to it. You could always tie a ribbon around it, make it look gorgeous. How quick was that, eh? Okay, so enjoy doing your crafts. Um, I'd love to see some pictures. Uh, get on, enjoy yourselves and have a great Christmas.